www.ncos.org. Health Matters is produced by the NIH, part of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. That's Rafa and Kajo. Kajo is 10,000 watts. And she's already. She got her all dirty. Hey, Kajo. Rafa, be nice. It's 4 o'clock and 68 degrees after a warm day today. Bye -bye. Still another warm one ahead tomorrow. We'll check the forecast from NECN coming Stop up. It. Right now, a look at your ride from the Ira Mazda Traffic Center. The expressway southbound still very heavy from the tunnel to Savin Hill. Northbound, you're slow from Brooksburg <laughs> Parkway to the Ponson Circle. 93 northbound is backed up from Bedford <laughs> to 128. 128 southbound, an accident blocking the left lane right at Propeller Road as you're backed up to 2A in Lexington. Our top local stories, voters go to the polls today across the state. Big races uh, for mayor in some cities. And now that we have our new congressional map, we have our first race. Details in two minutes after Fox News. Fox News Radio, I'm Lisa Brady. The strongest evidence yet that Iran may be trying to build a nuclear arsenal. A new report from the UN's nuclear watchdog citing suspected secret experiments that could only be for developing nuclear arms. It's time for an unequivocal declaration. Connecticut Independent Senator Joe Lieberman taking to the Senate floor, calling for the U.S. and its allies to make clear they will prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons. Hey, By well, peaceful good. means, if we possibly can, but with military force, if we absolutely must. Ahead of the new report, the White House has said it is focused on diplomacy, but that no option is off the table. It's not business as usual today for Penn State football yeah. coach Joe Paterno. You know, you guys have a lot of questions, and I was hoping I was going to be able to answer them today. Besieged by reporters as he left she his son's house months. for practice after the university she canceled his weekly only. news conference amid the and child sex 16. case against Paterno's former assistant coach, Jerry Sandusky. Two administrators... She he used baby a failing report suspected abuse and lying to a grand jury. Paterno's son denies a report of resignation negotiations. He says for now, his father's planning to coach on Saturday. A recent battle over collective bargaining rights resurfaces on Ohio's ballot today. Fox News Radio's Jennifer Kuyper with this live. <laughs> Lisa, unions want to repeal a law limiting collective bargaining, but Governor John Kasich says it's needed Kasich. to help local governments oh, balance budgets. Democratic Congressman Dennis Kucinich calls the law an attack on public workers. How do you restore the economy by telling people to take a cut in wages? That's antithetical. Republican Senator Keith Faber says if the law is rejected, expect job cuts. <laughs> Probably relatively soon in a lot of local communities all across Ohio. Uh, Ohioans are also voting on whether the state should opt out of a federal health care mandate. Lisa, thanks, Jennifer. A late rally up Wall Street and closing bell. Know, the Dow up 101 smiling, points. Want to be Fox famous. News Radio, fair and balanced. She goes and she's back in Italy. Three voters going to the polls in Boston this, and other this cities is This is mine. This is uh, somebody else's. But I knew her since uh, she was you know, three months old. Well, we have the new just that we don't get to get like we have our first race. Time. Former Republican State Senator Richard Tassay will so run she's in the now redrawn 10 district of Congressman John Tierney. Tassay last ran for Lieutenant Governor with Charlie.